7.30 in the evening local time here. Occasion that many of these supporters have waited an awful long time for, so the rain is not going to dampen their spirits nor enthusiasm for this game. So, Clive, we're expecting 4 2 3 1 from Chelsea at least for the start of the game. And that means again a fair bit of responsibility on the shoulders of one Mason Mount, who impressed us in what was a pretty flat game overall against Kawasaki Frontale on Friday, but he stood out for you. Well, I think the one thing that we've got to get some of this pre-season period is the formation and what suits the players what suits Frank and Jody and see what the link now swinging delivery in the near post flicked on by Griezmann and then the header get the contact on the header that he's looking for super ball Casper Lequeta was trying to work it back across toward Abraham has got Abraham in a good position and it needed Mtiti there to get it away and will drop behind by a Jordi Alba for a Chelsea corner good ball in nice by Emerson fires it across the six yard box I think when we saw the ball come in before from the left hand side PK just cuts it out this time it goes the other side of PK and Mtiti just Central Roberto and Griezmann linking up this is Jordi Alba it's a good block from Aspilic came off Jorginho and trying to win it back Dembele could be in here though, Kata Kuti. At this, that particular stage. Between, this is the last thing that Barcelona wanted to see. And, uh, star signing, down hurt and holding his knee. It seemed like a bit of a heavy challenge. The referee didn't seem it to be a foul. Griezmann's taken a bit of a heavy knock by Jorginho. Well, both players going for the same ball. I guess he's right in a way, the referee, not to not to give the foul. Griezmann probably gets there just a, a career in many ways, but he's also risking not being fit for the beginning of the season. In one challenge where he goes different. Here's Pulisic, good position to have a go here. Christian Pulisic and Abraham. It's Griezmann decided to tee up Dembele. Good challenge arrived from Pedro. Nice partnership. Collado. A uncharacteristic error which has led to the opening goal for Tammy Abraham and Chelsea. Sergi Busquets caught cold and Chelsea's new number nine manages to run in the opening goal of the encounter. He now has a goal against Barcelona to his CV. It's a really poor giveaway here by Busquets. Ricochet for Jorginho. And there goes Pulisic. He's in on goal again. Has to do it himself. Griezmann on for Dembele. The hole's appearing at the Chelsea defence this time. Dembele. Three losses in their last. Mount's delivery. PK. Lovely. With Alba looking to instigate himself here. In fact, it was Griezmann who took the shot eventually. Similar angle to Pulisic just moments ago. It's a lovely interchange here as Griezmann gets the ball back. Abraham profiting of Sergi Busquets' error. It's the Londoners who will be looking to impress his new employers. Well, he certainly will, and when you come in for that sort of money, it's not just the employers; it's the fans as well. You know, and they'll be expecting you know, a decent performance. You know, they won't go overboard on things, but I'm sure. As the season rolls on, they'll be expecting a lot from him. It's always interesting to see the changes. Looks like we're keeping the same shape as we did first half, so maybe that shape is where Frank's... Glorious situation where we've got Kepa in one end and Neto at the other. And immediately Barcelona looking to get themselves an equalising goal, but the shot from Malcolm, the Brazilian, drifting fairly harmlessly wide. Well, typical of... Uh, we saw in the, in the opening minute and a half, isn't it, in the first half? But number 14, of course, made famous by another Dutchman who went from Ajax to Barcelona. Nelson Semedo in field, Rafinha. Wants to have a go, good hit too, took a deflection on its way. Maybe that took some of the sting off the ball. That's a decent enough strike, isn't it? Rafinha gets his shot away and Kepa again, smartly down to his right-hand side. Slight deflection. Doesn't. 
of options for him here, but he's only got eyes for goal, Perez. Everything but the finish. Well, it looked smart and bright, didn't he? But it's a nice, sharp run, isn't it? Committing defenders and getting beyond them. Made it look easy once he got into the box, but his finish was poor. It's a toe poke. It's easy for Cap. Here's Perez again. And again, as we did in the first half. Pedro can do something about that now. Chance for a shot from the edge of the box here, which is well saved. But it's come back to Rafinha, flags up though. Well, again, Kepa this time with a better save. It's well struck, it's on target, it's towards that bottom corner. Kepa gets down really well. And then Rafinha just offside, but I've enjoyed watching him. Yeah, Giroud will take the place of the goal. Bit indecisive. Nice to tear for teammate, good shot. Kennedy, worth a go for Kennedy, oh the deflection, made it a really good save by Nato actually, came off uh, Jean-Claire Fadibo and the goalkeeper had to adjust his position in an instant. Good save, good sharp smart save but Kennedy does the right thing, again Giroud keeps the ball alive around the box. Actually problem here for Mateo Kovacic, or oh, Jorginho I beg his pardon, oh. Drew's ball in toward Kennedy. Maybe opening up for a shot. I wanted to try and find Giroud instead. Alonso in behind here, firing a low cross, looking for Kennedy. Cleared away by Longley. I guess as the pre-season rolls on, this time span will move even closer. You know, it can't, he can't do 90 minutes time and time again. He wants to, because he's had... So Kepa, the only player out there, he started. Oh, Kennedy with another good chance. There was no flag that time either. Yeah, poor contact. You know, I think he might have been aware that Neto was coming out, maybe to batter him. Good running from Diggs in a sort of match situation. Barkley in, Alonso got something on it, he would... ...against him. Yeah. Looks the type who will probably dominate any of the defenders at the back for Barcelona. Really not been giving him much of an opportunity. Now, Kurtzum has been hurt here. sort of a challenge was that Alonso good ball as well chance for a second here Bashwai who came here in 2002 just the representation from Master cross very very deep picked up by Barkley Alonso Barkley Look over his shoulder to see how much time he had and then found the corner of the net brilliant goal from Ross Barkley should be enough to win the game for Chelsea He's been a cut above since he came on. And he's made it Chelsea 2, Barcelona 0. Now yeah, he's got himself into some good positions, hasn't he, Ross Barkley? And he used the ball pretty well, but I tell you what, this is a great finish. I'm not sure if there's a deflection on it, because Neto really should have done better. Back to Rafinha. Rafinha moved it on one more. It's Carlos Perez. Malcolm. Ball in toward Rafinha. Tomori did get a touch on it. It's a little cliff into the box, isn't it? It's sort of hopeful more than anything, but... Alonso, Barkley, look over his shoulder to see how much time he had, and then found the corner of the net. Brilliant goal from Ross Barkley, should be enough to win the game for Chelsea. He's been a cut above since he came on, and he's made it Chelsea 2, Barcelona 0. Now yeah, he's got himself into some good positions, hasn't he, Ross Barkley, and he used the ball pretty well, but I tell you what, this is a great finish. I'm not sure if there's a deflection on it, because Neto really should have done better.